Okay, welcome to this module on social engineering. The thing about social engineering is it's the part of the attack that can basically never be defeated. As long as humans are going to be involved, humans can be exploited, they can be manipulated, they can be conned, they can be bought. The social engineering side of hacking is really one of the most powerful tools you can have in your back pocket. What we're going to do in this module is we're going to take a look at what social engineering is. And even though social engineering itself is a bit of an art form, the ability to talk people into giving you information is something that needs to be honed over a period of time. We can still look at some of the well-known ways to address social engineering, including certain ways that you may have heard of, such as phishing. We're going to take a look at identity theft and some other options that can be done in order to help you on your path of getting into this organization. So what we'll do, we'll take a look at social engineering as a whole, we'll look at the different types of social engineering, we'll look at something called dumpster diving and also shoulder surfing, which are very easy to take place in any organization. We'll look at the idea of reverse social engineering, which is incredibly powerful. We'll look at some of the uh, vulnerable, vulnerabilities for attacks, we'll look at some of the countermeasures for social engineering, look at some of the policies and procedures you can put into place because really the only defense you have against social engineering is the constant reinforcement of training for your users. We'll take a look at phishing attacks, identity theft, some of your well-known online scams, and some of your countermeasures for identity theft. 